Okay, so if you're here, you probably want to uh, know how to run 16-bit applications on a modern 32-bit Windows OS. Um, there is a feature called NTVDM, uh, which just stands for NT Virtual DOS Machine. Um, that allows you to do this, um, and it only works on the 32-bit versions of uh, all modern Windows OSs. So that means Vista 7, uh, 8, and 10 all have this feature. Um, NTVDM is basically just the uh, NT 16-bit subsystem that was found in uh, Windows uh, XP 2000 and maybe even some of the uh, uh, NT-based 32-bit um, uh, workstation OSs. Um, so uh, basically, uh, why would you want to do this? So let's talk about, about that for a second. For example, in my case, um, I want to speedrun uh, some of the older games um, from the 16 the 16 bit era, Windows 3.1 around. Um, uh, some other people might want to use an old version of WordPerfect, let's say, um, or perhaps even uh, just something cool like a uh, control program for a CNC machine uh, that, that only works in 16-bit uh, uh, mode. So um, let's uh, get to it, I guess. Um, what we're going to need to do first is check for the one prerequisite that we need. Um, we're going to go to the Start menu, right-click on the Start menu, and then go to System. And right here, in the About screen, Device Specifications, um, let's look under System Type. And what it should say down here is 32-bit operating system if we're on the required version. It might say x64-bit processor. That's fine. Um, as long as it says 32-bit uh, operating system, uh, this feature can be enabled. Um, so if it says anything other than that, yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to work. You might have to install Windows 3.1 in DOSBox uh, to do what you need, or perhaps even try out something like, uh, I believe it's called NTXDM, uh, which is basically an implementation of the 16-bit uh, processor uh, through emulation um, on a 64-bit uh, OS. Um, I've never tried it out, but some people say it's great. Um, so, essentially what we want to do here, even before we try anything, I'm just going to show you a little secret here. Here's a 16-bit a a program called uh, Castle of the Winds. It's a game. Um, if we try to run it, um, the OS will detect it and say we need a feature, NTVDM. Um, we can install the feature right from here and it'll work correctly, but this screen doesn't always appear. Uh, some machines may not actually tell the OS in a specific way, you know, if it's a 16-bit program. Uh, and some OSs, namely like uh, earlier versions of Vista and 7, and maybe even others, didn't really have this prompt or it wasn't quite as common that it would detect 16-bit uh, applications. So let's cancel out of this. Um, just another thing here, uh, this message will appear if you try to run a 16-bit application um, that, you know, uh, NTVDM is not uh, currently enabled on uh, the machine. So um, let's click out of that. And so let's, uh, let's enable it. Let's go to the Start menu. Let's just type in Control Panel. Let's just click on Control Panel. So let's go down to Programs and click on Programs. Um, and then let's go to, to the uh, little shield icon here, Turn Windows Features On or Off. So we'll go down. What we're looking for is Legacy Components here. Let's expand that and just click on NTVDM. OK. So. It's going to apply the changes, and there's no reboots required. It's just enabled. Um, all right, so uh, let's test it out. 
Let's go back to that same game. Okay. Works. Let's uh let's do a little bit more thorough testing. How about that? Alright, do 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 looks good. Alright. Perfect. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you can uh, disable the feature if you ever wanted to through the same menu. Same way, just uncheck the box. Um, just one other thing to mention, uh, let's say you're doing this on a lot of machines through a scripting tool. Um, you can use a DISM command to do the same thing. I'll link it down in the... Uh, the summary here, um, or you can even just use Windows PR and just type in optional features. You don't actually need even the EXE, it'll work without it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Let me know down in the comments if uh, I've missed anything, or even if this helps you. So uh, yeah, have a good one.